All right, guys. So on the next one, we'll be talking about the anatomy of another part of the shoulder joint, and this is known as what the glenoid cavity, or some people call it the glenoid fossa. Okay. So just like the name implies, it's like a cavity. It's like what a deepening. Do you understand? It's a deepening on the medial side. Okay, no, no. This should be the lateral side of the scapula all right because your humerus the head of the humerus actually what fits into this deepening all right so let's talk about it so that the glenoid cavity is also known as what glenoid fossa it's a shallow depression on the lateral aspect of the scapula that plays what a crucial role in shoulder joint function all right so it helps to basically what stabilize your shoulder joints and all of that okay so uh, for the location and structure, we said that for the position is what located on the lateral angle of the scapula. Yeah, like I told you guys on the lateral side. Okay. For the shape is basically like a pear shape, so it's slightly convex with a shallow and smooth surface. Okay. Articulation. That's basically how it actually joins and all of that. So it articulates with the head of the humerus. To form the glenohumeral or shoulder joint. Okay, so what are the key features of this um, What are the key features of this glenoid cavity? We have the glenoid labrum, which is a fiber or cartilaginous ring that surrounds the glenoid cavity. It will further deepen the glenoid cavity. Okay, so this is a glenoid labrum like it's surrounding it all around okay then we have the supraglenoid tubercle not really listed here but I have a video on the anatomy of what supraglenoid and infraglenoid tubercle okay then moving forward for the functions of this glenoid cavity so joint formation so it forms what the socket part of the ball and socket joint that the shoulder joint actually is okay so it will allow for what wide range of arm movements for stability and mobility. Okay, it's also used for stability and mobility. So this glenoid labrum and the surrounding ligaments and the muscles provide stability to the shoulder while maintaining what its extensive or mobility. It's also an attachment site for important muscles. Okay, so clinical relevance is um, you talking about the glenoid cavity. You can now know that there's possibility of shoulder dislocation, liberal tears, and arthritis. Okay, so that's if what the anatomy of glenoid cavity or glenoid fossa, location and structure, key features, functions, clinical relevance.